The purpose of the Sentry stack is to allow you to create password protected pages in Rapid Weaver or indeed set up sections of web pages which are password protected. Most commonly the two options you've got already for password protection in Rapid Weaver are to either log into your web hosting control panel and configure particular directories of your website to be password protected. Alternatively, you could buy a system such as SiteLock, which offers a full um, sort of membership style um, setup for protection of a website. With the option to log in to your control panel and set up password protection, this works pretty well in that it's free and it's very secure. However, the issue is that you don't really have much control over how long the users are logged in for and typically you can't really change the style of the login screen very much from what the web browser displays. So I would rate Sentry as a sort of halfway solution between um, what you can already do in your web hosting control panel or buying a system such as SiteLock for uh, building a much more sophisticated membership style website. For the purpose of this example today I'll just put together a very quick and easy uh, demonstration site here in Rapid Weaver 8. I've got two pages in this website, one called home page and one called tracking map. And if we click onto the tracking map page, what I'm actually doing here is for a private client, I'm developing a web app for them, which enables them to track hurricanes and other major storms in the North Atlantic. This map is actually extremely sophisticated. It's several thousand lines of code, um, simply because of pulling in data like webcams from uh, different sources. Um, we've also got some live data coming in from weather stations and we've even got um, a live feed of data coming in from the National Hurricane Centre. So this is probably far more than what you would normally use Rapid Weaver to build and uh, a good stress test of Sentry as well. So if I just switch into edit mode and we'll work on the basis that we want to protect this page and make people log in before they're able to view the map. So I'm going to open the Stacks library I'm going to search for Sentry and I'm just going to drag and drop a copy of the Sentry stack into the web page like this. Now Sentry is just one stack but we've got multiple configurations available and in this instance I just want to protect this web page. And straight away Sentry is telling us that there is no link set to login page. Obviously we need a system in place for people to be able to log into the website. So I'm going to add a new page. I'm going to choose a stacks page type. I'm just going to call this um, login. And again, I'm going to open the stacks library and drag and drop Sentry into this login page. We can leave the configuration alone this time because we want a login form. But what I'm going to do is just to change where I want the login to redirect to. And I'm going to choose my tracking map like this. If you want to, you can supply multiple passwords to protect the page with, um, just separate them with a space. The default password is log me in, which is all lowercase with no spaces. Um, I'll just copy that to my clipboard so I'm ready to, uh, to test that. And as you can also see here in the settings, you can control how long people are logged in for using the cookie expiry settings here. You can choose minutes, hours, days, weeks or even years for however long you want people to remain logged in for. We've got options of what to do if somebody types a, a password incorrectly, um, where to send them to, and also an, an, a lot of extra features and settings here for customising the style of the login form. If I switch into preview mode, you can actually see that our login form is an integral part of the website. We've got the, the page here, login on our menu, and it's styled more or less the same as our Rapid Weaver theme is set up. That's probably just about all there is really to know about the um, setup of the login form itself. Um, we've got the option of query strings and these simply mean we could use a free stack such as query display and display customised messages above the login form or elsewhere on the page which give more friendly instructions to users. For example if they type a password wrong or if they're logged out from another page and they return here we can display a, a customised message. Um, so the system is very flexible in that regard. If I just click back onto tracking map. I'm now going to create the link to our login page, which we just set up like this. I'll set the link like that. 
and the box turns green and just confirms our, our settings there. So what should happen now is when I preview the page in Rapid Weaver, you'll see that it's automatically redirected me from the tracking map page straight to the login page. So here I'm going to type in my password and a nice feature of his login form is if somebody is having difficulty typing a password there's a setting here to view the password. I'm just going to click on login here and as you can see it's taken us straight back to our tracking map and we're now logged in and we can view it uh, so I can pull up the latest information about this tropical storm for example on this page. You might be wondering well, how does this work, how does this system work? If I open the web inspector, I'll just drag it across onto this screen so we can uh, see it, and I click onto storage, you can see that what Sentry's done is to create a tracking cookie. So the name of the cookie is Sentry Login, and the value is whatever the password is. And we can see that this cookie is restricted to only being able to be used on this domain, um, which in this case is the test server RapidWeaver uses. And for now, it's just a session cookie, so it's going to expire when we close Rapid Weaver. But ordinarily, these settings would correspond to what you set up on your login page here. So this is where you could change the name of that tracking cookie if you wanted to, and also control how long it's remembered for. Let's go onto this page again, and I'm just going to add a bit more functionality now. I'm going to add another Sentry stack. Um, but this time I'm going to make a, a log out button. So I'm just going to change it like so. And I'm going to set the link to, let's set it to the, the, the login form page. And I'll just close this and uh, preview the page again. There's our tracking map and I've just very quickly added a log out button at the top here. So if I click on that, it takes us straight back to the login page again. And you'll probably find if I open the storage tab, the cookie has gone. So in order to log out, all you've simply got to do is to delete that tracking cookie and the person will be logged out. If I try and go back to the tracking map page again, you can see it's not letting me. It's just sending me straight back to the login form here. Something else we could do with Sentry is instead of blocking somebody from viewing the entire web page is just to prevent them viewing the content on the web page but still show things like the header and the footer of the page. What I'm going to do is to select my Sentry stack here on the tracking map page and I'm going to change it to conditional display. We've got two boxes shown now where it says um, drop stacks here. So we've got the option to show content to people who are logged in and content for people who are not logged in. So I'm going to drag and drop my code for my very complicated tracking map into the box for people who are logged in. And then I think for people who aren't logged in, I'm going to just put some text here. And we'll just say... We just say you need to be logged in to view this content. Um, and we'll put a little link here. So log in here. And we'll make that a link to our login page. So I'm just going to view the page now in Rapid Preview. I've not logged in yet. So you can see it says you need to be logged in to view this content. Um, the tracking map I want to view is not visible, obviously, um, but I can still see I've got the um, header section of the page still showing up here and the foot at the bottom. So I could pretend I was a user wanting to log in. So I can click onto here, um, type in my password in the box, log me in, click on login, and it redirects us back to tracking map, and there is our tracking map visible on the page. So yeah, it's a pretty clever little system, I think you'll agree. Um, quite a lot of, uh, sort of ins and outs of it, I suppose. Um, there's different configuration modes of Sentry. Um, quite a lot of settings to come in and, and change to, to customise and make it uh, suitable for what you want. Um, with that in mind, what I do is I provide a free trial version of this stack. So you can download the trial version, have a play around with it in Rapid Weaver yourself. 
and explore the full choice of options available and determine if this solution might be um, suitable for what you want. There is also on the website a project file you can download and with that project file I've added a lot of extra functionality such as the query strings uh, so that you've got uh, customized messages displayed when you are logged in or logged out um, depending on the status. Um, so yeah, I certainly hope this stack is of help to you anyway if you're creating um, a website and you need to regulate who can view the content and which pages they can access. Um, and I hope this video has been of use to you and thank you for watching.